Hi everybody. Now let us discuss deflection of cantilever beams. Different cantilever beams. Cantilever beams with different loads. First let us take cantilever with a point load or a concentrated load at the free end. Cantilever beam W at free end. Let this be L. Okay. So first we have to find bending moment about a section. So let this be X taken from free end. A, B. Right. So what is bending moment? Clockwise, so it is negative W into X. So, what is bending moment? EI d square y by dx square equal to W X. So, integrating this, you get EI dy by dx minus w x square by 2 plus c1. So apply boundary condition for cantilever beam at fixed end the slope as well as the deflection are 0. So at x equal to l dy by dx equal to 0. So, it is 0 equal to minus W L square by 2 plus C1. So, C1 equal to W L square by 2. So, E I dy by dx equal to minus W x square by 2 plus w l square by 2. So, we can find the slope at x equal to l from this. So, at x equal to, sorry, 0, x, x equal to 0, we can find e i dy by dx equal to w l square by 2. Therefore, dy by dx at free end is w l square by 2 e i. If we take uh, x from a we would have got this negative ok now let us find out deflection I will find it here e i e i y equal to minus w x cube by 6 plus w l square x by 2 plus c2 at x equal to l y equal to 0 therefore minus w L cube by 6 plus W L cube by 2 plus C2. 6 minus W L cube plus 3 W L cube plus C2. So 
W L cube by three plus C two. So C two will be minus W L cube by three. So substituting here E I Y equal to minus W x cube by 6 plus w l square x by 2 minus w l cube by 3. Okay. So now uh, at x equal to 0 we will get maximum deflection so at x equal to 0 y equal to y max therefore y max equal to this goes to 0 this goes to 0 minus w l cube by 3 e i Okay. I'll write this expression here y at the free end so y b okay minus w l cube by 3 e i what was the slope dy by dx equal to W L square by 2 E I. Okay. Now let us discuss another case. The load is acting here, W. Okay. So at A distance from fixed end, it could be looked at the previous case where you don't have this you do not have this then it becomes same but instead of l you can put a so up to this we get the previous case but here what is happening that's what we have to obtain here there is no bending moment okay so uh, the same way we can develop the equation and find out these expressions and then what is going to happen at the free end, the deflection at the free end. That is what we are going to discuss now. Okay, So, let me take x from this direction. So, let this be x. Okay, Then we will have reaction here W in the A clockwise so there will be opposing w into a acting here and there will be w here so when we are coming from here this side we will have this let us uh, now write bending moment equation at x so at x it produce It produces clockwise and it is anti clockwise. So uh, W in the X minus W into A. So EI 
b square y by dx square equal to wx minus w dA. So, integrating this e i dy by dx equal to w x square by 2 minus w a x plus c 1. So, at x equal to 0 dy by dx equal to 0 0. So, c1 equal to 0. Therefore, e i dy by dx equal to w x square by 2 minus w a x. So, at x equal to a, what is that we are getting? So, at x equal to a, a dy by dx e i equal to w a square by 2 minus w a square. So, e i dy by dx equal to minus w a square minus w a square by 2. So, if you put this e i and just check this, we are getting the same a is replaced or uh, L is replaced by A. That's it. So, we can uh, have same equation up to this. What is happening here? That's what we can do. So, or, uh, the same way if we proceed YB will be minus W AQ by 3 E I. We will get this. Okay. So, if our X is here, okay, what is bending moment? Bending moment, okay, this is clockwise. So, W into X w in dx minus w a ok this load minus w into x minus a so w into x minus a w into x minus a so m equal to 0 u i d square y by d x square equal to 0. So, this section bending moment is 0. So, what is dx, dy by dx? This constant. Okay. So, what do we get? get a straight line. The slope is constant. So, we draw this. This is d, sorry, dx and dy. Let this be E, G, F. Okay. E, F. Okay, so uh, now if we find this distance, 
if you find this distance, we know at y, sorry, here it is yc, so it is yc, okay, yc, we know what is this uh, deflection, and if we find this distance gf, adding to that, we'll find deflection at b yb is what we want to find so what is dy by dx here it is nothing but this so dy by dx equal to gf by ge equal to minus w a square 2 e i right so g of will be minus w a square by 2 e i into g e what is g e L minus A. L minus A. This is L minus A. So L minus A. Right? So GF we have got. So what is Y B? Y C plus GF. So W A Q by 3 E I plus W A square by 2 E I into L minus A. Is this clear? Okay. Now if this W is at midpoint. What will happen to this A? A will become L by 2. So, substituting for that A equal to L by 2 y b mm, minus w l by 2 cube by 3 i minus w l by 2 square by 2 e i into l by 2. It will give you phi w l cube by 48 EI. What is this value? When W is acting at the mid and what will happen? Here at B. Right? Thank you.